another critical battle uh, in the war that, that helps produce American victory is Daniel Morgan's victory at the Battle of Cowpens, largely because it puts a fire under Earl Cornwallis to hunt down and destroy Nathaniel Greene's army in the South. This is a, 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 the kind of reverse that, that Cornwallis did not anticipate, could not tolerate, and he became tenacious in his subsequent pursuit of Greene's army, and it does not pay dividends for Cornwallis or for Britain, for that matter. He's willing to burn his baggage trains to be able to give this pursuit. And in this epic retreat, a victorious retreat, if you will, Nathaniel Greene is able to outrun and stay one river crossing ahead of Cornwallis throughout that campaign until he finally gets across the Dan River in southern Virginia, and Cornwallis has got to then go back, and Greene will re-engage the fight on his own terms at the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. And so I think that Morgan's victory there at Cowpens sets the stage for a chain of events that ultimately culminates in Cornwallis realizing that he cannot militarily win back the South and gives him the impetus to leave the Carolinas for a new theater of operations in the Chesapeake.